Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and man, do I have a good one for you. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the la um, technically the last of the mini uh, series for how to build a uh, gaming uh, slash post production slash productivity desk on the cheap. Uh, the the episode after the last one is the one you guys uh, want to make sure that you guys see. Uh, if you like the video, you get one entry. If you subscribe, you get another entry. If you uh, follow on Instagram, you'll get a third entry. And then the fourth entry will be if you comment. Now, you could like or dislike. I'll count it as an in as a, uh, entry. Uh, that's what will happen. So there's the position to get four. Now, you could do just one of them. It doesn't matter. Obviously, everything is at random. There will be two prizes, like I said. One will be the Scorpion uh, mask that I already packed away in a, bo a box. The other one will be a uh, uh, Noob Cybot mask that I already packed in a box. So make sure you guys look at back episodes. You'll see I show that how it looks. Um, and uh, two lucky winners will win. Uh, the first winner will get to choose between one or the other. The second winner will get whatever is left over. Like I said, it doesn't matter. They're both amazing masks. They both had great detail and great work. And a lot of my time went into designing and making these for y'all. So I hope you guys really enjoy it and really love it. I'll also have some recommendations how you could do other things, like put smoke and stuff like that in there, which will be pretty cool, which I already made it uh, kind of uh, ready for that. As you guys saw on my Instagram, I did a Sub-Zero mask that looks uh, pretty cool, but I, I'm still working on that. Uh, and right now, you're, you're hearing in the background, I'm working on more prizes, as you can hear, and it kind of pr probably shakes from the uh, giant 3D printer I built. Uh, and that's where the noise is coming from. So definitely tune into that and keep on making those requests. Uh, I wish I could do them all, but like I said, I'm self-funded here, independent. You know, this is our channel. That's the good part about it. But the bad part is I can't do every everything. So because of that, once it uh, gets enough requests, then I will make a how-to video and I will de design and make prizes that I think a lot of you guys will enjoy. Um, already, Vito, uh, our brother from another mother of the channel, he uh, won the Mario that holds the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I'm really glad that he uh, told us about it, how much he loved it and how much he liked it. It really made me feel really cool, uh, good, because I always like to hear uh, if these prizes really, uh, if you guys like it, if you, you know, all that. So if you guys win, uh, whoever wins, I would definitely like it for you guys to let me know how you, uh, wh what you liked about it, if you liked it, if you didn't, you know, all of that stuff, okay? So I'm really, really happy about that. So let's go right into it. Man, do I have a good one for you, Okay. But at the same time, I'm a little paranoid and a little pissed. <laughs> so now, I know it sounds kind of weird, but what I'm about to say, probably some of you guys might like, so probably some of you guys might not like. Now, uh, I urge you guys, for those of you guys that didn't see my uh, video about politics in video games and now it has no place in video games definitely check that out i, I posted that baby up on uh, wednesday i'd like to hear what you guys uh, think about that so definitely go to that this is another video that i'm probably going to get not a, uh, many likes for it especially from fanboys but it is the absolute truth i love my nintendo switch i love that nintendo switch is selling more consoles than all other consoles the thing i don't like is the fact that they're not being treated with respect. The fact that I don't like... Uh, what I don't like is how they treat us Switch owners like second-class citizens. So now, what do I mean by that? It's, uh, it's coming also... Um, you know, many of the games that came out, a lot of them were good, like Hellblade, Mortal Kombat 11. I really dig it. I mean, there's some issues involved, but they're being fixed. But really cool. But it, it's more like to do with the game, not really the, you know, the game for the Switch. But... Um, if you guys look at it, most of the games that come out for Nintendo Switch, it's almost like they're trying to make a business out of it, but at the same time not give us what other consoles have. For example, when they include statuettes and collector's editions with everybody else, and they don't have it. Hell, we didn't even get a platinum edition for Mortal Kombat 11. We had to get it digitally, not a physical copy. And people like myself who are collectors didn't get a chance to get that because I wanted to review for you guys the premium edition so i got the premium regardless but i felt pissed because i didn't have a physical copy which i love to collect and us collectors are getting screwed if we have a nintendo switch now there's another issue and you guys could clearly see this that some games when they port to the switch they charge ten dollars they charge fifteen dollars and then you have companies like capcom 
that charge thirty dollars for their game because they know they can uh, they can uh, you know make a profit off of it. Right now, there's a game that uh, I spoke to my friend, and this was before he told me about this you know weeks ago. But I wanted to make sure and to have it validated, even though you know. So I, I contacted my friend in uh, Nintendo in, uh, of America. And I wish, again, I wish I had friends in Nintendo of Japan because they're the ones that really make the decisions, but I'm really grateful for him. And he told me this weeks ago as well, that Devil May Cry was coming out for the Switch. And I said this a while, while back in a video I did, but now I'm going to tell you a little bit more detail about it because they just said a Devil May Cry game was going to come out. I thought Devil May Cry, I wasn't going to be too overexcited. I wasn't expecting Devil May Cry 5 to come out on the Switch. What I did expect to come out was probably Devil May Cry 4. Probably a trilogy. <laughs> unfortunately, they're coming out with, uh, I'm not going to say unfortunately, I really dig uh, Devil May Cry 1. Uh, I hated Devil May Cry 2. I love Devil May Cry 3 and 4. I, I don't know. I just love I love the Devil May Cry series. In fact, I, I was always so pissed that it couldn't make it to Nintendo. So, um, so because, of, uh, because of that, I'm kind of glad that it is coming finally for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, but I loved Bayonetta, the whole Bayonetta series, and now Bayonetta 3, which, let's face it, is a knockoff of, uh, of Devil May Cry. And... It has, like, women like strippers uh, fighting what Dante and Nero, uh, you know, the whole uh, the whole gang is, uh, you know, pretty much they mimicked that, but with their own twist, and I freaking love that game. Uh, the thing is, what I noticed uh, is happening right now is that Capcom now is releasing the first Devil May Cry, only the first. Now, again, we don't know if this thing is, you know, vamped up for the Nintendo Switch. We don't know if it's a remake version or whatnot uh what we do know is that it's coming out in summer uh no dates announced of course uh no nothing but uh in summer now they could have easily came out with one two and three now they came out with one two and three for the, the systems for the uh, other consoles and they charged 30 dollars for it uh i have a feeling that these and i'm gonna say it idiots and capcom are going to charge us $30 for this game. In fact, my friend in Nintendo of America actually told me that most likely that's going to be the price. When I told him that, he said most likely that's going to be the price. That's how Capcom works. As you can see, that they did that with, uh, with the Resident Evil series now, which is just freaking ridiculous. Um, I just, I got so pissed off with that. Uh, you know, it's just so stupid. But uh, now they're, you know, they're doing that $30 for Resident Evil 4, and it's not even revamped. For the Switch. It's not like it's made with special features for the Switch. It really isn't, even though they claim some things are or whatever. It really isn't. Uh, the thing is, Devil May Cry 1 is coming out. And this is how they make their money. Now, I'm going to recommend to you guys something. And I'm going to say something that's probably going to get me a lot of hate. But I'm, I'm just going to say it. Do not get this game if it's $30. If they charge 15 or hell, the most 20 I say go ahead and get it. But if the game, and I don't even know how the heck this thing runs, but I'm sure it'll run fa fine. But to pay thirty dollars for a port of of a of a game that's just part one is just so stupid. When they give you a trilogy on every freaking system, okay, for thirty dollars. So if they charge thirty dollars for this game, I urge you guys not to buy it because when you buy it, you positively reinforce. And I'm sorry, sounding like a psychologist here, but I got to say this. You positively, re positively reinforce horrible behavior. And just like when you positively reinforce negative behavior in a child, you're going to get always that negative behavior, okay? So if you give them an aversive stimuli, right? For example, no money. Oh, you know, and, and you're not giving them a stimuli, negative reinforcement, but not giving them a stimuli. But, but sort of do by giving them negative reviews and telling them what the hell. When you do something like that, you're going to get good behavior, okay? So if you guys support this crap at $30, I don't care how excited you are. I'm excited that it's coming to the N Nintendo Switch because now I'm thinking now they're going to have this guy, uh, you know, Dante and a bunch of others, uh, you know, Trish, possibly in, uh, you know, uh, Smash Brothers. They're going to have them in probably, I don't know, they'll have them in a bunch of games. So it's pretty cool. But also it probably will open the door for other of their games as well. The thing is, if you pay 30 bucks for it, every stinking thing that Capcom releases will be 30 freaking dollars. 
You gotta stop that. Do not reinforce this ugly, ugly, stupid behavior. Till it comes down in price, and believe me, it will, when they see nobody's buying it. It'll come down in price, and Capcom will understand that, oh, wait a second. I gotta charge less money because nobody will buy it at launch date, and the game will have nothing but negative reviews, and it's gonna be thrown to the curve like a piece of crap that it, you know, that it isn't, but it, you know, it'll be tossed to the side like a piece of crap. <laughs> so the thing is, that's what's coming out right now. They're coming out with this game, but only part one. Okay, and it's coming out in the summer. And I'm willing to bet when I told him, is it going to be $30? He said, most likely that's how Capcom rolls. So most likely, it's going to be $30 freaking dollars. If it's not 15 and it's not 20 do not buy it. Even at 20 it's so much money. But do not buy it. Okay, 30 bucks is just way too much to spend on a freaking old-ass port. It's an old, old game and should not be charged $30. It should be... Five bucks or ten at freaking most. Okay? But to charge 30 freaking dollars is ridiculous. i deal with 15. Hell, even 20. Okay? I'd say it's not fair, but I'll bite the bullet on a $20 game. But $30 is just freaking ridiculous. Okay? The game is like... it. You know, the first one kind of ran. It reminded me of like a Resident Evil game with its own flash on it. And the, the Japanese version technically was like a Resident Evil game. And then they came out with a revamped version or whatever, a better looking version with its own universe and everything of, you know, the, their own game, Devil May Cry. And it's a great, great game, but it's not worth the $30. It's an old, old game that most of us beat the living daylights out of. Okay? At most, it's worth 20 bucks. Again, self-funded here. Let me know what you guys think about this whole thing. I'm just curious. I want to know. This is a self-funded you know, a self -funded channel, independent channel. This is the people's channel. Let me know what you guys think. I'm desperate to hear what you think about this. And what am I, you know, whatever I'm saying. If you don't agree, please let me know why you don't agree with that. Why we should fund people that, uh, you know, that, that are charging $30 for a game. Why we should, we should buy games that purposely spit in the face of Nintendo Switch users. Okay, by giving everyone a trilogy into us giving us just a single one and charging us the same price. I mean, what? Because it, it, it's a convenience fee because we could take it on the go. We have to be punished for it. I mean, let me know down in the description below. As always, help out the channel by liking this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more videos to come. Keep those requests coming for new how-to videos. And I will be making prizes, prizes and... Um, uh, uh, videos for these uh, how-to or uh, any type of review. Now we have a lot of games coming out soon, very soon. We're, we're, we're going to do lots of reviews on those. So keep those requests coming. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it, and I, wanted, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.